So AMC uh, pre market what was it a uh, fourteen sixty I think one. Um, I think GameStop I just saw it was one hundred and thirty one dollars. It's up a little bit. So it's around that same you know ten percent you know price uh, ratio that I said that the A fall has been calling. I mean, okay, it's a little higher technically AMC, but I said give or take a little bit. You know, it, it's ultimately 10% or a little drop higher or a little drop lower. It kind of fluctuates. But it's like I said, I've been saying this the whole time, that you're going to see GameStop run. This is my opinion. And whatever, whatever price GameStop is, AMC, AMC will be a little 10% or a little more or a little less. So like I said, when you see GMB around 500, you're going to see uh, AMC at about 50. When you see GMB at 1,000, you're going to see uh, AMC at around 100 bucks. Okay, that's it. I said it once. I said it twice. I said it three times. I said it several times. And it's it's just all coming true. It's like everything I say. Every time I look at the price of GameStop, I can see AMC around a 10% ratio. And this has been going on for the longest time. So the key here, if you really want some, you know, you know a push for the Moaz, Every single AMC ape, I said this a long time ago, should consider buying a little GME. That's it. In other words, yes, you know, hold your AMC, never sell your AMC, and yeah, buy AMC too when you can. But if, you, if you're just an ape that only owns AMC, you're delaying the Moaz, in my opinion, by not buying some GameStop. You're delaying it because GameStop's going to run first. I'm telling you right now. GameStop is going to run first, and if every single AMC ape, I mean, there's millions of AMC apes, if you would all just buy a little bit of GameStop, I mean, you're just going to push this Moaz through. You're going to push it through. You're going to see GameStop run. You're going to see AMC run. There's going to be a force budget call. All the synthetics are going to have to be covered. It's going to be like a friggin' uh, a volcano eruption. But once again, it's just that I've been saying this for the longest time. The question is, you know, you got to do what's best for you. <laughs> That's it. I'm an entertainer. I don't give financial advice. So don't listen to anything I'm saying. I'm just an entertainer.